is up people, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Zone to Kappa Mode. I hope everybody's doing alright, I'm doing amazing, and I wanna say guys, you guys, I want you to understand that I like you, I really love you guys, because I'm currently recording this on my birthday. So, you don't know when I'm recording this, but you know around when. <laughs> so, if you wanna guess, you could put it in the, in the comment section below, I won't confirm, but just you can guess <laughs> but yeah so today uh, again I looked a little bit in the book and I was looking at what could we do and I had an idea for this one here so I replaced the block for your automatic mob farm with dark glass and the way I was thinking is invisibility no I don't have one uh, I want it to be invisible <laughs> invisibility there you go we're, we're gonna make one potion uh so it's a fermented with a potion night vision really uh okay yeah we can do that all right so we're simply gonna make a night vision <coughs> so it's a golden carrot <coughs> let's do this then we're going to need also another wart Wart. Give me one. Uh, and then it was this thing. Okay, so also uh, water bottles. I've got two. I think that should be enough. It's, I thought I had a potion stand somewhere. Oh, wait. Yeah, right there. <laughs> okay, so let's do that one first. So yeah, the, the idea that I had today was, oh yeah, uh, I built that one, so the thing was I wanted to do the Mechanism Industrial Steam Turbine, I wanted to do that one, simply because it, it looked cool. Uh, creative Dimension Builder, this one we could do, but I still haven't done it. Infinite Oxygen, I haven't done that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... Filled Max Reactor Size. This one too, I think we could do that one. That could be pretty cool. And different. Uh, it could be really, really powerful to do something like so. Uh, I would be, you know, I would have to look at what's the max size. I don't know it by heart. Uh, but yeah, so just filling it, like maybe putting a, one line of diamond blocks and just a red jelly crowd him. Okay, it's almost done. And bam. Okay, so I don't know, do I have... I don't have a ring of flight. So we're gonna take... Because the thing is, when you have uh, invisibility, you can't have armor. So that means that we're gonna have to remove this armor and just go in like so. So I might even, you know, just remove everything. And we're also going to put that in there, since uh, we don't need it with this crazy armor. Uh, Alright, so that seems to be okay. Oh wow, I'm so slow. So slow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Alright, so let's also do uh, shifting sand, I think. Oh, alright. Uh... Uh, probably in the bag. I've got my other bag that has a bag <laughs> with my Batania things. There we go. Alright, so we'll need some of that and we need one of those. Yeah, it's a bag and a bag and a bag. There we go and uh, bam. Okay, so we will need dark glass. I think that's what they want. Uh, let's make sure. Dark glass? Place blocks, dark glass. Okay. So let's make some dark glass for this thing. Dark glass? Oh, we don't need to make dark glass. We can simply take it. Dark glass. Oh, let's remove this. Reinforce? Eh, just dark glass. There we go. That should be enough. So we're going to take this, uh, 
do dink and let's see will it work oh i, I kind of need something tested on uh, but i don't want to break anything here okay so let's go to the other dimension bonner i'm so freak oh yeah probably should take the potions uh no i do have the potions okay spawner i'm too close <laughs> right oh my god this is so slow <laughs> god i can't believe this is slow all right so let's take the potion It, it might all go bad. Okay. I couldn't change it. Oh, I don't have mana on me. <laughs> I didn't think about this. Mana. I got my mana mirror. So great, that will work. It doesn't work. Why? It doesn't want to work. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to go. Oh boy, I don't want to do this. <laughs> hey, like this? <laughs> Like so, <laughs> I mean, I so don't want to blow up. Is my night vision gone? No, a minute 30 something. Okay. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Just go in. Okay, let's do this also in the back. <laughs> okay, I think I moved everything. Yeah, I moved everything at the bottom. Okay. Yes, we're almost there. I can't believe. F f one minute, okay. Let's remove all of those and go. Like so. And bam! Replaced with dark glass. Perfect. Achievement done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wasn't sure they were going to see me or not. I'm really surprised that this thing doesn't work. I thought it was actually going to work for some reason. But that means that we can go in the book and say replace the blocks on your automatic mob farm with dark glass. This is the part where the mob guys are killed. Perfect. Nice. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare everything for the mechanism turbine thingy. Uh, it will be my first time doing it. But I've looked it up. And it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, it just seems, you know, a couple of blocks and stuff. So I will prepare everything and I'll bring guys back in the other dimension. All right, so we're now in the glass world. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I made a second ball. And I tried to do like a little design around it. Just why not? Uh, there's currently no power into it because I simply want to use the turbines and stuff like that that are going to be done in this world to power this ball. And uh, here I started making the shape of the turbine and I think it's going to work. Uh, this is the max size turbine. It's 11 by 11 by 18. So I was like, why not going all the way? Okay. So what's going to happen is if you take in the middle, I think this is the middle. Yes, it is. Uh, you go two down, well, actually one down, you're going to need to place your Rotary Complex uh, right here. 
And then you're going to be able to place blades on it, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what's happening there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't want to place or anything. Is it like a one too high? I, like I said, I haven't even tested any of this. I'm doing this with you guys. Can't seem to be able to place anything. <laughs> um... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right well let's let's do the rest first so at the top you will need electrolytic coil which is what is going to give you your power so i'm going to place them here i might need to make more just because why not this thing is so big uh all right let's do this there you go 29 okay so let's go mix some of that oops Right. It's a five by five, so let's like put this here, this there, and this here. Oh, I've got one left. Dang it! That doesn't work. Uh well you're not gonna be placed. Okay. This thing should be going there. With do I really need to have the exact amount? Maybe it's that? No, it's, it just doesn't want to place. It simply doesn't want to place. So if we look at a picture, is this supposed to be at the bottom? Maybe? I don't think it should. A connector that is placed on the highest turbine rotor of an industrial turbine to carry kinetic energy. Okay. Turbine casing. I can't, I can't place it. Why can't I place it? Oh, wait. Rotor. Yes, I need the turbine rotor. <laughs> I was just like, maybe I need something to put the blades on. Oh, oh, I need steel. All right. That's not a problem. There we go. All right, so uh, give me all of it. <laughs> Right. So there you go. That that should help a little bit. <laughs> okay. And that's it. Alright, so we place that thing over there. And then we'll be able to Oh, okay. So there we go. So we just right click and it's going to be placed. This is cool. This is really cool. Oh my god, I love the, the turning of this. Alright, so the next thing is we need turbine vent. Uh, because we need to be able to vent everything that's coming in. Oh, wait, no. Uh, the vent don't go there. Uh, what goes there is the pressure dispenser. Yes. Pressure dispenser needs to go everywhere, so I might need to make more. there oh yes we need to make more because i only covered half of it okay so uh dispenser okay that didn't work uh this answer this purser oh that is why i uh, still need some of this Okay, we'll need some of that, done, and bam, bam, 48, if that's not enough, I don't know what will, okay, this here, this there, this here, there we go, alright, so the next step is we then need to have turbine vents. 
and you can place them anywhere higher than uh, the pressure disperser or at the same level and it will work okay like so i'm gonna place them on the all side normally i think you're supposed to have four blades for one of these i think that's what i read online and the last level well you need to have some of this i don't know if you can place it anywhere yeah we'll just place it here and there just to see if that works and then you go with glass structural glass which can be used in the i think the tanks from mechanism also they use those the multi-block structure okay and if everything works correctly uh it should form a multi-block structure in the end Oh, come on! <laughs> Almost! Oh, oh I'll also, I'm also going to show you structural... This one here. I'm going to show you. Check this out. 11 kilo bucket. So that means thousands of buckets. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. So it's been formed. Uh, and we can come here. Oh, limiting. It says limiting. Oh, I don't know why though. Coil blade. <laughs> Max production 115 million RF. Tank volume. Why is it limiting? A w Max flow. <laughs> 115 millibucket thick. Okay, I'm not sure I will be able to reach that. But why is it like this? So, if you look online, it says, Coils appear to be limited by the number of blades set. 4 to 1 ratio recommended. 4 blades set per coil block. So, the coil... Set per coil... Okay. That, that seems to be okay. Vents limit the max flow of steam through the turbine. Limiting on the vents, that simply means that is not optimal ratio. You can have fewer down to your desired steam flow rate. Okay. But I get it on the blade also. Why is it on the blade? Interior may only be steam dispersed coil blade. Hmm. Kind of weird. But what I thought we could... Oh, we could be doing is let's just test it out uh oh i didn't check if it can explode though uh i think you can go mod option and go into mechanism config and turbine dispenser gas flow it doesn't seem to have an explosion so i think we should be good <laughs> Uh, unless it's in here no okay so we should be good it shouldn't explode if there's anything uh so steam if you remember we still have those so what i'm gonna try to do is use those with trends uh no it's liquid where is it Th these guys Two of those with glowstone should be enough, but le let's see. So I'm going to put one here, one there, one there, do this. Hmm, does not work. <laughs> All right, uh, that's sad. Let's try then a node, a liquid node with upgrades in there. Let's do a stack upgrade also. I don't know if it affects anything. Oh, what do we need? Gold nuggets? <laughs> That's what I need. There, you got your gold nuggets. Bam. Uh, if it changes anything. 
Alright, so let's see. Will this even work? Zero. It's not grabbing anything. <laughs> hmm. Creative Steam. Why you do this to me? Okay. Um. What did I do? I did... Uh, fluid something? No. I think that's what I did. Oh, but wait! I've got the best idea! <laughs> if this works, guys, you're gonna like it. Um, we need a channel. We need a channel. Okay, so we're gonna take an import gas and we're gonna simply try to put it in the in the system. Oh, it doesn't work! Come on! Come on! This thing doesn't want to work with anything! <laughs> oh, this is such a... Ah, oh, so annoying! Alright, so I guess we could use the mechanism pipe? Uh, yes! Oh... Uh, no, that won't work. Mm, I don't have any. Huh. Alright, so let's go and mechanism pressurized pipe. The thing they're called pressurized. No, that's millibucket for the gas. Let's see. Let's eat fluid gas. It's pressurized. No, it's pressurized. Okay. Yeah, gases. So let's see. Can I connect those? You cannot! Oh. Alright. Well, I think we come back to what we had at the start, which is the conduit. The conduit did work. Uh, so, I guess it will be that. I will never be... Yep. That seemed to work. But the thing is, I can't output enough. This thing like only outputs a certain amount. So it's kind of annoying because this produces 500. Is it even producing? Yeah, it's producing power. How much power are you producing right now? It's storing, producing, it's saying zero. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, I'm gonna try to make this work and I'll bring you guys back if I ever can. <laughs> right, guys, well, uh, these things are complete garbage. Uh, they produce 500 per side, and there is no way... <laughs> uh, wait, no, maybe there is. Uh, let's see. So, I currently am at 130,000, and we will use the fluid duct. And no, they do not connect. Oh, wait! <laughs> it might be glitched. No, it's just physically there. Oh, it's because uh, it's connecting there instead. <laughs> so this thing disabled. Yeah, it doesn't connect to this here. So it's kind of annoying for that part. Can I force it? I cannot. So I decided to just use a creative energy, a creative portable tank to see. And this thing's producing some power. You know, I'm at 8 point something billion, so it's kind of uh, producing close to, I'd say, uh, 50 million RF attack, maybe? I, I can't be certain, because uh, this thing just doesn't work. So, yeah. And this thing, like, just keeps filling up, like, it can't output all of it. But uh, yeah, I'm really far from being at the max. Like, I, if I could get this amount of steam, which I don't think I can, uh, we could do it. But I can't seem to uh, be able to get uh, 1,152,000 millibucket a tick. Uh, the max I can do with this is like 130,000, which is actually 110,000 or something. Because this is producing like uh, 20,000. 
So, yeah. Uh, for the next part, next to it, I will be building the giant uh, big reactor. So I'm going to build this and bring guys back for uh, the big reveal because this I, I spent some time on this because we've never done it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. And uh, yeah, so I'll build this and I'll bring guys back. Big, huge building. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to do the big reactor, but as you can see, it might take some time before it fills up. <laughs> so I'm using a floating planisher with the creative tank. And uh, yeah, it's taking a little bit of time. So what it's doing is it's filling up all this and eventually will it move on to the next area and all of those things so eventually this thing will be full but until it happens uh, it won't <laughs> so i kind of have to wait but the whole middle is made of diamond block so kind of the achievement uh, will be made so i thought that the the crowd jump would like go on the side and just spread oh maybe it is like so Oh yeah, I think it is. It's just going down and like really slowly going to the side. But uh, yeah, I thought it was simply going to uh, spread all the way. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, it's going to be easy if this thing continues working like so. It's pretty much just, you know, doing the, the draconium. Uh, not the draconium, the jelly cryodium. And yeah, so this will be working. Uh, so because of that, I had to remove the steam over here. So this thing works on 2000. As you can see, the speed of this is really low. As the power is also really low. But uh, this thing is 32 by 32 by 48. It is gigantic. Humongous crazy ridiculously gigantic but uh, i'm pretty happy about it it's it's gonna look amazing i i don't know what it's gonna produce for power but uh, i hope it's gonna be good i hope it's going to be good uh but yeah, guys that is going to be it for today so i do hope you enjoyed the episode if you did don't forget to leave a like if you loved it don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time bye bye